Okay, you all remember the Alabama woman who experienced Mr. Overzealous, as the chief called the cop with the blue handcuffs, who handcuffed this woman. He threw her down in her own home. He stepped on her foot and then flung her onto the couch. Okay, Alabama woman says police assaulted her after calling 911, and she's filing a federal lawsuit. Yep, you guys remember the video. I'll leave a link. Okay, Twyla Stallworth, you remember her. Okay, an Alabama woman who was shown on video being arrested at her home by police in February because she refused to show her identification says she is demanding justice in court. That's right, that cop came right into her house. He just walked right through the front door and he got real violent with her and he even kind of got violent with her son. Twyla Stallworth, a 40-year-old woman from Andalusia, Alabama, filed a federal lawsuit this week against the city, its police department, and Grant Barton. Oh, you guys remember old G. Barton, the police officer involved in the incident. Stallworth says the incident was racially motivated as she is black and Barton is white. Enough is enough for black people and the black community, Stallworth told reporters at a news conference Thursday announcing the lawsuit. Okay, I get it. You know what? Everybody is tired of the cops acting like that, just so you know. People of all colors are really sick of it. Stand boldly for your rights and always cover yourself. Have a camera and make sure you're recording because without evidence, you lose every time. And she had evidence and she's not going to lose, she added, referencing the cell phone video of her arrest captured by her 18-year-old son, Jamari Marshall. The lawsuit argues that Stallworth was unlawfully arrested and illegally detained. Alabama state law allows an officer who reasonably suspects a crime is being committed to ask for people's name and addresses and explanations of their actions. However, it does not go into detail about showing identification, such as driver's license or passports. Now, as it says, the law officers are allowed to ask. It didn't say they're allowed to demand people's names and addresses. Okay, so even right here in this report, there's this nebulous, what are we talking about here? Okay, we know what we're talking about. It's called the Fourth Amendment. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of both Stallworth and Marshall. Stallworth is asking for an unspecified amount of compensatory and punitive damages. In the 23-page lawsuit obtained by NPR, Stallworth says that on February 23rd, she was assaulted, oh, strip-searched, and jailed for 15 hours after she called Andalusia Police Department on a noise complaint from a neighbor. She got strip-searched, y'all. After getting no response from police, Stallworth purposely set off her car alarm in an effort to get the neighbor's attention to convince him to turn down the music. Uh-oh, neighbor spat. Okay, said Harry Daniels, an Atlanta-based attorney. A neighbor then called police to report Stallworth's car alarm, the lawsuit says, and Grant Barton was the officer who responded to the neighbor's complaint. Old Grant, old G. Barton, he had his name written on the side of his car. He was cool. According to Stallworth, Barton threatened to cite her for the car alarm. He did not address the original noise complaint about her neighbor. There's that tit-for-tat thing, you guys. In cell phone video captured by Marshall and released by Daniels, Barton is shown standing at Stallworth's doorstep asking for her identification. He had his blue handcuffs at the ready. Ma'am, I'm not going to argue with you. Provide ID or go to jail, Barton says in the video. Okay, that's a... All right, Barton is shown in the video arresting Stallworth for failing to present her identification as he tells her to put her hands behind her back and grabs her wrist. Stallworth is heard screaming and shown being thrown onto her couch and placed in handcuffs. And it's been missed by almost everybody, but I put it right on the thumbnail. He stepped on her foot first as he pushed her. Because, you know, he knows physics. In the video, Barton is shown pushing Marshall, who is recording, then entering the family's home and shoving Stallworth. Marshall's the young man. Why you are trying to why are you trying to rough up a female, dude? You need Jesus. This ain't nothing but the devil, Stallworth says in the video. Stallworth was arrested and later charged with obstruction, resisting arrest, and eluding. <laughs> she walked back into the house so she was eluding, the suit says. Once taken to the police station, she was subjected to a strip search and held for 15 hours before being required to post a nearly $3,000 bond in order to be released. Wow. The charges against Stallworth have since been dropped. Okay, Andalusia, Alabama, you're going to pay a lot of money, I do believe. That's my, that's my assessment on the situation. The city of Andalusia did not immediately respond to NPR's request for comment, and Andalusia PD Chief Hutt, Paul Hudson declined to comment on the story. Oh, Paul. He thinks his guy didn't do anything wrong. He, he said he was just overzealous. The mayor of Andalusia, Early Johnson, 
issued an apology to Stallworth last month once her charges were dropped, saying, on behalf of the city of Andalusia and the Andalusia Police Department, I would like to apologize to Twyla Starworth for her arrest in February. Well, how come the, why is the mayor uh, speaking on behalf of the police department? I know the mayor's the boss and everything, but still. We want to hear the police department say they're sorry. Come on, chiefy. So, once again, here's the mayor. Ooh, on behalf of the city of Andalusia and the Andalusia Police Department, I would like to apologize to Twella Starworth for her arrest in February. The arresting officer has a clean record with our department, but he made a mistake in this case on February 23rd. He has been disciplined. Well, he cost the city, which is the taxpayers. He cost all of you taxpayers a lot of money. Because he, it wasn't that he was trained wrong, he was raised wrong. Okay? You can tell by it. Everything about him, he was raised wrong, including why he carries the blue handcuffs, because he's a cruel and unusual person, in my opinion. The lawsuit did not go into detail regarding Barton's punishment. <laughs> We're going to put him on the bad apple report. In a statement to NPR, Daniel slammed Barton's actions during the incident, calling the incident disturbing and dangerous. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say it's the beginning of a long career of cruelty since he got away with it, old G. Barton. Old G. Barton. If a police officer like Barton is willing to illegally force himself into your home, assault you and your son, and lock you in a cage and strip search you and degrade you even though you haven't broken any laws, then what wouldn't he do? And if the police chief thinks he didn't do anything wrong, what wouldn't that chief abide? Okay? It's pretty nice of the mayor to go ahead and admit that they screwed up. That'll help in the civil suit. But the people, once again, are going to foot the bill. All right, folks, please share this video. Thanks for watching.